You know, are you? I'm not sure if you are aware of it, but uh, I came across this that um, the CIA and uh, and I think also the MI6 jointly uh, kind of set up cells uh, deliberately trying to get Nazis to uh, oh, uh, in, the, in the Eastern Europe. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, right. But and, this, and no, they, but this they, isn't just uh, Nazis in Eastern Europe. This this was a a deep seated project that goes back. Yeah, the CIA. Decades. Yeah, it was so much nefarious bullshit. Oh, yeah. go. And they still keep on. By the way, the CIA was put in place because of the Cold War. And they're if still. You're, if you're willing to accept that the CIA did a lot of black projects in the 50s and 60s, but suddenly stopped doing it in the 70s and 80s, but then you're also willing to accept that Ukraine uh, would, would say that they're, they, they made all their choices completely uh, sovereign of uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the CIA did. It's like, no. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. not. If you're willing to accept that Operation yeah. Northwoods yeah. and 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 MK Ultra and all these uh, like the more obscure stuff that there's no need to go into, like they they go on forever. And if you want to say the CIA did all these things, has... how how are you how are you going to then say, well, no, the CIA actually only stopped here. They didn't go that extra step that they don't talk about. You have yeah, no I idea really, how often really. I hear that actually from the elderly population yet again. Oh no, but that was in the seventies. They don't do that anymore. And I was like, well, what about the crew in Haiti in, like, what, 2019? Look, and then the, C the CIA did evil things <laughs> in the yeah, 50s yeah. and the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. They still 2000s. do evil things. No, no but that, that's what that's my point I'm trying to make. They did they did it in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, but they don't do it anymore. They stopped. They're, 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 they're good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a lot of sense, yep. Yeah, but and also and, I want to. Mention, interestingly yeah. enough, that also means that they are capable of, and if you want, crewing the U.S. government. Right, so like this Trump, this is circus insurrection. Of the, like the, uh, that's what I want to call it, really, because it's not really worthwhile insurrection in a in a re meaningful sense. Like there was nothing that would otherwise, you know, make that. Uh, uh... Anyways, uh, that aside, like the uh, the uh, CIA was recognized by Truman, who kind of erected it to be like a very dangerous institution to set up because uh, he said so explicitly fascist tendencies. And uh, that it, it will it will shape also even though it will be used by the U.S. government as a tool to uh, topple other and then manipulate other governments, uh, this institution would necessarily have so much power by its own profession that it will be able to, it would in, invariably be affecting the U.S. government. However, it was kind of like you know worth the price because uh, the Soviets and whatever, uh, and then uh, uh, you know later with a lot of. Uh, declassified information uh, regarding John F. Kennedy and such. Uh, there's a lot of a, you know, a, a, it seems to be like a, a kind of like a foregone conclusion now that the CIA definitely uh, set up the assassination of uh, Kennedy. And this, to a large extent, is because Kennedy um, started having some <clears throat> quite a lot of misgivings regarding the CIA. And then he publicly stated he was going to break up the CIA in a thousand pieces. Uh, and then, you know, at some point, Kennedy dies, and the the CIA sort of becomes normalized, like the FBI, as they, you know, they say, oh yeah, they're back in the day, right? But then it, because it is around that time, these they, they, it suddenly becomes, um, you know, uh, the norm is that it stops there. I'm not sure if there's that's just a correlation, but um, or or maybe well, if I went in with too many digressions. Well, I mean, they're fighting for their jobs. You know, they're fighting for their self-respect. The CIA people. Because they have a whole social ecosystem, and they don't want it that destroyed, so they they will rather march their civilians to death camps lest they lose their jobs. No, it's, so it's, it's no, it's, it's they would rather run their entire country into the ground rather than get yeah, yeah. the power they have. Yeah, because, because that's, 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 that's really what I was alluding to. They are, they are not only crewing and involving themselves in other countries; they are pretty much also running the U.S. government. Not running necessarily; they are. But they are kind of so merged with all the other bigger institutions in the U.S., be it media or be it industry, be it the military yeah. and so forth, that it's kind of like a, it, you can't separate them, really. They are. Well, you know, one of the one of the manifest functions of the uh, CIA is to plant prop propaganda like that's one of the manifest. They have, a, they have an arm for that. Yeah. They, so there's a disinformation. Like they're purposely planting disinformation. So how the hell do we live in a democracy? If the CIA is planting disinformation, well, that's how we were, we were talking about that earlier. We don't need it. We we but we really don't. We really don't. No, people people, people yeah. assume that um, the United States is so free or whatever, and it's like, and Putin is a tyrant when Putin has an eighty-five percent approval rating. 
or something like that. Biden has a 38% approval rating. Biden, like, people, in, uh, uh, like we have people would just. Let's not I forget mean, that the rating may simply be because the president the makes him look good. You know, you got to learn to play the game in the United States. I mean, it's free. It's not free. You can get away with stuff. You can do stuff. But, you know, you got to. You gotta thread the needle just like you do anywhere else. It's just maybe right. our well, which is hilarious because we're we're some of the most heavily armed population in the world, right? Uh, Vaughn, you were talking about make sure that the yeah, I mean, and, and we got that gives you a lot of leeway and a lot and, of but attitude. It, it's so funny because you have like you have so much power in one hand, right? But, but if you, you don't have it, for me. But no, but if you use it, if you use that power, you will immediately become the villain because the yeah, propaganda be is so strong. The propaganda is so strong against you. You have to be patient with it. Yeah, well, that's why it cracks me up when people are sitting there like, why don't you rise and why don't you try to do this and why don't you try to do this? It's like, dude, you got to pick your battles and you're not, you know, one guy doing one thing is just going to get his ass stomped. You know, look at Killdozer. Great guy, taught the government of his town a lesson, still got his ass smoked at the end. I don't think well, he was expecting to live after that. Yeah, I think he killed himself. Oh, yeah, either way, I mean, Leo, Leo. Yeah, he, uh, he should have lived forever, but you know.